Hi, so today we have a repair video. Um, this is the Fellows Aeromax DX95 um, air purifier. Um, if you haven't seen the original review video, I'll link it in below. Um, yeah, I've had this one for, oh, I don't know, I suppose about a year and a half, nearly two years. I think it's actually guaranteed for three years. Um, but anyway, the fan has stopped. Um, when you turn it on you just get four flashing bars and the fan clicks and doesn't do anything. Now as you can see I've already got it in pieces on the floor um, taking the filter out etc um, and I've got down to um, the fan area in the motor board and it looks like a bad capacitor so we'll go and have a look at that. Right then so this here is the uh, inside part bit. this is the fan there, I've got the motor is inside there so that's our main fan housing and this is the little controller board um, that was housed in the rest of the unit uh, down there near the bottom now this capacitor here apologies get it in shot so 120 microfarad 400 volt um, so that will be the main capacitor uh, for starting the fan uh, the sort of start capacitor for it um, vent, is that the name of the capacitor? Never heard of them. But anyway, if you have a look at this here, it's this weird yellowy stuff that's come out. Looks like it's come out from that positive leg there. So the capacitor was on this board here. You can see I've taken it out. This looks like it's basically the controller board for the um, for the fan assembly itself. That's all it does um, because there's another board. Uh, inside the other unit I'll show you in a minute um, which is the main uh, PCB so this is obviously doing all the stuff for the fan um, interesting wondering what kind of processor it's got running on there, chip on there because we have got as you can see uh, breakout header ports there we've got STA, SCL, 5 volts reset, ground etc so that could be interesting to uh, to see what we can get from that so anyway this capacitor's come out of here and like I say looking at it I think it's uh, definitely gone now if we check on the meter okay so I've got the meter out here it's Unity UT61 e um, and we'll have a look and see what it's reading for this just get that on there There we are, you can see the capacitance is going up, but that's still at what be 850 micro nanofarads. And of course, this one here is rated for 120 microfarads. So I think it's fair to say that's gone, and hopefully, that's the only reason why the unit has stopped. Um, now, obviously, I could have probably uh, sent it back to them and uh, ask them to repair it under warranty because they do guarantee it for three years but with the cost of postage it's quite a big unit having to send that back that would obviously um, you know probably cost a lot more than it's going to cost just to uh, get another capacitor and whack that in there and for those interested this is the main PCB um, that's it's screwed onto the back of the main front of the unit where you've got the LEDs and everything on the back of it nice white uh, PCB there just a quick overview of that unit there. So what I'll do now is I'll go and uh, order another capacitor, uh, make sure I get the same rating, etc. And then we will get that one, put it in, and see if that fixes the problem. Catch you next time.